Hey guys, it's Jen and I am here with a little bit of a haul video. Um, on Tuesday I went to the city with my sister. We had to go pick up my bridesmaid's dress, so I was able to go to Sephora. Um, I didn't pick up a whole lot, but um, I'm pretty happy with what I did get. So I will quickly show you what I picked up when I was there. I had actually gone in because I had wanted to get um, an HD foundation for the wedding and I had wanted to get the Smashbox, uh, what is it called, Face Perfection or something, which had a bunch of samples of the HD products. It had an HD primer, an HD foundation, um, a concealer, and the Halo grinding powder, but they all they had left was the dark ones, so I wasn't able to get it. So I did pick up though a Sephora uh, Perfecting Cover Foundation Advanced Definition and that's it right there. Now they did have these on sale for um, $11 and I'm wearing it today and I actually really like it. I've worn it um, the day that I brought it home actually I tried it on that night and I worn it every day since so only a couple of days but it actually has some pretty decent staying power and with my having oily skin it actually works and I'm really happy with it the color that I have and it's the only one they actually had in this color thank God there was one left um, was the light number 15 because um, clearly I am very fair and sorry I just hit the table so it made the camera bounce and then another thing that I had been meaning to try is some of the Benefit products. Um, so I got this little kit, the Tan About Town kit, and I believe this was maybe $12 or $15. And you get the little samples in here as well. Um, with the cost of some of these products, I'd hate to buy the full size, spend the money on that, to only to find out that I really don't like it. So I've started buying the little kits just to try them out. So in it, of course, you get the uh, you get the Hula bronzing powder, which you know even these little sample things tend to last forever. Um, someone had sent me you know, little samples of some other products before, like a tiny little sample of Laura Geller foundation, and I'm still using it. Um, so they do last quite a bit. Um, you also get some kind of gorgeous, I think it's a cream foundation, right? The foundation faker. Apply evenly all over face with fingertips. Now this is in medium, and I can sometimes get away with medium, but you guys know with certain brands, sometimes their, me their mediums are a little darker than one another. Um, so I'll actually have to try it out. But that's what that looks like. And I mean, worse comes to worse. I could always use it as a contour as well. And there we are. And um, I'm still playing around with the settings on this new uh, HD camera. So I did take the autofocus off just because um, it seemed to be acting kind of weird. I wanted to try a video without it, so I may put it back on for the next one. And then you also got the Bad Gal Lash. And this actually, um, to me, is pretty much exactly the same thing as Urban Decay's, uh, what's it called? Big Fatty or something like that. To me, I find they are pretty much exact. I mean, they both have these humongous brushes and I find the formula to be pretty similar. So that's that. And then I picked up this Tarte Clean Slate Deluxe Primer Trio. So you get the Clean Slate Poreless 12 Hour Perfecting Primer, the Clean Slate Flawless the 12 Hour Brightening Primer, and of course the Clean Slate 360 Degree Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. So 
so I can't wait to try these ones out as well and I think this might have been about $15 um, then I also got you guys have heard me go on forever about how I'm looking for a really good black liner so I decided to spend the money and get the makeup forever aqua eyes and I got um, the black one I don't even see where it says a color on here anyways I got the black one so I haven't tried it yet because actually the last few days I haven't been doing the whole bottom liner thing I've just kind of been doing a little bit of a light wing liner but I'm excited to try this and I'm hoping that it works um, the lady actually at Sephora had recommended Urban Decay's 24-7 but I have a few of those and I really I mean they're good liners but they're just not what I'm looking for um, and I'm trying to remember what the other one was that she recommended I think it was the NARS but I decided to go with this one and then I also picked up let's just open it up here I think the color is called extra extravagant dahlia I think that's the color anyways I had picked up this lipstick because I thought it was a perfect spring summer color and you guys know I love my pinks and again this is was in the sale bin for I think it was seven dollars and here is the color right there really gorgeous pink so I got that and um, I also got this Hello Kitty nail polish and the color is night sparkle now for samples um, like I mentioned I wanted I really wanted that HD foundation so um, just to make sure that we liked it and the color was right because we'll just order it online or we'll go back uh, or my sister will go back to the city and pick them up we did get samples of the Smashbox high definition um, foundation to try out to see if we liked it. I haven't tried mine out yet. Um, I also got a sample of the NARS Laguna Body Illuminator and the Philosophy Mango Mango and something. Mango and Cream maybe lotion. So I love that they give you samples to try out. Um, that way you know if you like something and if you're willing to spend the money on it. So far, um, I haven't really tried a whole lot of the products aside from the foundation. And I tried the bronzer, which I do like. Um, and I have a feeling I'm going to like the, ta the Tarte primers. I actually found a lipstick that I was sent a while back uh, from Tarte. It is a brighter lipstick, but I really love the formulation. So at some point I'm going to want to pick up a few more Tarte lipsticks. So aside from that, I also went to Ardennes. Um, I don't know what I can compare it to for you guys in the States. Maybe similar to um, Charming Charlie's or something maybe. But let me just dump this all out they actually have these loot bags too that you can buy that are kind of like surprise bags and I always get a couple of those when I go in as well but for the products that I picked out I um, am going to be making some earrings and I actually find that you can get really good deals at our Dean's for the hoops too so um, I picked up a set of gold hoops and a pack of silver hoops as well and then I picked up this necklace and 
And then I also got a bunch of other stuff. Some of it, it came in these, um, what I want to call loot bags. And um, some of the stuff was picked up for a swap that I'm going to be participating in as well. So I have another set of gold hoops. And I am a hoop girl myself. I always really enjoyed hoop earrings. Um, they actually happen to be my go-to earring. And then I also got this cute little headband with the black flower on it. And I also got, I'm not sure how many are in here, but this humongous pack of um, elastics. You guys know I wear my hair up at work and I'm constantly either breaking these or losing them or combination of both. Um, got these funky shoelaces. And then uh, a brown fabric headband. I'm still on the search for some headbands that don't give me a headache. I'm the type of person that if I wear a headband for more than an hour or so, I seem to uh, get a migraine. And then I also got this necklace as well. Kind of simple, but um, will really dress up any outfit. And then I got these purple earrings. And the back is like um, a bronze. There you go. You can see both colors. The purple in the back is the bronze. And then I also got a pair of yellow hoops. Some little diamond stud earrings with little flowers and little butterflies. And this um, flower hair clip that reminds me of a Hawaiian flower. And that was upside down. <laughs> there we go. And a little frog keychain. And that's it from Ardeen's. And then I went to a store called Sirens, which is a clothing store and just picked up a couple of things there as well. Um, it's actually a really nice store and I'm hoping that my sister and I get a chance to go back before the summer is over because um, they had some really nice stuff and some really great deals. So I picked up this belted shirt. You guys can see the belt hanging there. And this was actually only $7.50. So, um, definite steal. And then I picked up this other shirt. All these items that I'm showing you for clothing were $7.50. This long t-shirt, which either can be worn as, um, can either be a dress or a t-shirt. You can belt it or wear it plain. So I got that. And then I also got, um, this skirt and it's kind of tapered if you can see on the side and then it goes really long at the bottom. I happen to be a summer dress skirt fan. That is what I live in throughout the summer. Um, most comfortable for me and I actually wish I could wear it all year round. And then the other things that I picked up were these two magnetic nail polishes that um, I actually haven't tried these out yet. It's either by Nobby, maybe, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But I got the color wine. And I also got it in black. And I think these were, I want to say two for five dollars. They were pretty inexpensive anyways. Um, so that is everything that I bought. Like I said, I didn't buy a whole lot because um, I had to finish paying for my bridesmaid's dress. Um, and then I still have to pay for alterations on that and still have to find a strapless bra to go with it. 
uh, already purchased the shoes which I showed in a previous video um, but I am really hoping me and my sister had a really nice day we don't often get to hang out and especially not just the two of us so um, it was really nice to be able to do that and like I said I'm really hoping that we get to do it again before the summer is done because we had a really nice time albeit we were a little rushed because we did have to pick up my niece from school and I had to be back in time for my dress fitting so you know it was unfortunately a little rushed and we didn't have as much money as we would have liked to to spend um, but we had a good time nonetheless so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions feel free to comment down below um, and uh, I'll still be playing around with camera but I'm still um, really happy that the quality is so much better than it used to be at least it's something that I can work with until um, I get some you know a little bit of a more permanent setup and a way better camera but um, you know I'm moving in the right direction so again thanks for watching guys I hope you all have a fantastic day I'll be talking to you real soon and bye for now